morning guys oh my gosh it is so sunny I'm in Juno Beach Florida right now with the Lego heart squad and I'm so excited because today we are gonna be looking at marine life and we're gonna be learning about marine conservation and we're doing some beach yoga and so I'm super super excited we're gonna be trying so many new things all right y'all stay tuned because we're about to do some amazing stuff I really hope this inspires you guys go out there try new things spread heart with the world it's gonna be amazing <laughs> Okay guys, um, so I just found out that we're going fishing, so um, I forgot to put that in the intro, but like, uh, we're going fishing! <laughs> I'm so excited because I love fishing and I'm so good at it low-key. Don't mean to toot my own horn. Okay, see you guys there. <laughs> because he's reserved, but he's also <laughs> transparent, which is why I have this see-through uh, <laughs> Lego brick right there. See, no Super problem. honest with everyone, we got the seaweed around all the oh, place, yeah. yeah. So we're gonna take these Lego bricks we just used and we're gonna give them to that little boy over there who's watching us play with them. Yeah. And um, yeah, we're spreading hearts, so let's yeah. do it. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi guys. We're about to go fishing. We just had lunch. Yes. So we're going fishing yes. and I've been fishing oh. before but it's Sophie's first time fishing and Nicole's first time fishing. And I think that Jordan's done it before but I'm excited to experience their first time fishing because I'm trying new so stuff. When was the last time you fished? Like this summer. Oh, okay. At my house. She's new. She's new. So, um. fish with Katie Dinelli. Get out. <laughs> Donnelly. So, yeah, I'm super excited. Let's get it going. I've done it once. Oh, really? Yeah. I used to do it a lot. Like, it was my childhood, but I haven't done it in years. But I want to spoon my 
have any of you fished before? I fish all the time because awesome. we live on the river, so. Okay, I cool. used to live here, so I used to fish a lot. Okay, and what about you two? Have you fished before? I fished like one time, like many, many years ago. Okay. So I was gonna never fish. Okay, <laughs> awesome, good. So we've got a nice variety of experience yeah, here. This is a good fishing hook. This is called a circle hook. This is called a J hook. What do you think the um, advantage is for the animal to use this one? As a, a fish hook. Um, will the fish stay on more? If it's well, it'll stay on, but also think about when you're removing that hook, right? So if you're removing a hook that has a barb that is curved in, like this one, as opposed to sticking out like this one, it's going to be easier to remove, and it's not going to cause a lot of damage for the turtle, the fish, the shorebird, whatever it is. So we recommend that anglers use these circle hooks rather than the J hooks because this barb here is going to cause a lot of damage when you're fishing. So all the rods that we have here are circle hooks. The anglers would cut that fishing line. And think about it, if you have 100, 200 feet of fishing line, what can happen to it? It's gonna get tangled. Right, exactly. It's gonna get wrapped around a flipper, maybe the neck, they can ingest it too, right? So we show the anglers out here uh, what to do if you catch a turtle. And I want you guys to take a guess in uh, just under, just over five years, how many turtles we've rescued from it. 65 years, five years. How many turtles? 65 beers. Yeah. 300. With this program. 300. 550. That's an awesome guess. So um, it's actually <laughs> closer to 600 now. So we're at 600 turtles rescued from this alone. So that's 600 turtles that had hooks safely removed, line taken off. So it's really amazing what we're doing. If you gave me half a human body, I'd be able to tell you what All the parts right. were. Because, so, you know, awesome human physiology and anatomy. But I don't take fish <laughs> physiology and anatomy, so I couldn't tell you. So this is a circle hoop net. We often will use this to bring turtles up onto the pier. Let's lower this into the water, place it under the turtle, scoop the turtle up, bring them up onto the pier. Or we can either bring them up this way or walk them down the beach. Got something. So careful because it might squirm, okay? And we'll hurry and put it back in the water. Oh my gosh! I wow. Wow. Hey bud. I need to kiss it. I'm not gonna kiss it. So we're gonna place that fish into the water once you're done so it can breathe. As you can see it's supposed to kind of I just drop it in. Yeah. You can even get your bait. Yeah, here. Oh it's like so pretty. What kind of fish is that? This is these look like baby pompadons. Okay, so now, who wants to lower it down into the water? Let me, I'm not making excuses as to why I have not caught this. I'm just saying, at home, we, we fish with lures, right? So, you cast, and then you reel it in, and then you cast, and you reel it in, and it's like, it is like, Constant movement, right? So me and Nicole are waiting patiently for our fish to come. Tell the fish! You probably know more about fishing than me, but you've got this, you know? Thanks, Literally, girl. get your head in the game. Appreciate it. Cross, yes, get it. Those fish, they're gonna be coming after that bait. You got this. They better come after You're a boss. Bait. You, 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 you Thanks, girl. Oh, I'm ready to fish Appreciate you. that. <laughs> if you come over here and you catch my fish, Jordan, <laughs> I'll be so angry. I got a better shrimp. <laughs> Hey, you just have some juices in it or something. Yeah, it's like magic shrimp. Give me a couple more hours and I would have caught something, I'm sure. Alright guys, we made it back to the Loggerhead Marine Life Center from the dock. And we're going to go in and see the um, turtles in the hospital. There's one right now that just came in, so that's kind of exciting. But we're going to watch them help them out. There's turtles in all the tanks that are behind my mom right now, so we're gonna check those out too, but let's go. So we've actually got two species right now. So right here on the stretcher, we've got a loggerhead sea turtle, and right here, this is a green sea turtle. So we'll talk about that outside, the differences between the two species. Um, but this one, you can really see how much growth is on this shell, right? This carapace of this turtle. So 
A lot of times loggerheads do have barnacles and algae growing on them. So when these turtles come in, they are emaciated. Emaciated means they're really thin. They're super underweight. So if this turtle was diving down and was hit right here, caused some damage. It doesn't look fresh from my own eyes, I don't know, but it looks like it's healed over just a little, I don't know. Um, this is a new patient, so we don't have a name for this one as far as I'm aware yet. But if you check out our website, marinelife.org, in a couple days, I bet these two turtles will probably be on there and you can read more about them. Okay. So that's here for now. kilograms. Right. Mm -hmm. So that was really cool. Um, we just kind of watched. Those two turtles had both been brought in today, which is kind of crazy. So like, they were taking off the barnacles off of the shell of the one, and they took turtle x-rays, which I think is super cool. And like, you can see all their bones, and they have like the same bones as us, which I think is also cool, because they're like turtles. But like, they have the humerus and the ulna and the radius and like phalanges and all that kind of stuff, and that's cool, because I really enjoy learning about like, human bones but the fact that it's like the same is really cool to me um so they fix up all the turtles and then they hold them in these little pools over here which we're about to go look at while they can get healed and they can release them so that was like step one and then here's step two so this is a juvenile green sea turtle so we can't tell the age of the turtle um, but juvenile means it's a really young turtle and Oki was unfortunately hit by a boat um, but is able to dive down and is a very active turtle which again we love seeing the active turtles right so oki potentially could get up to 500 pounds once this turtle is fully grown <laughs> And yeah. then behind us right here are like, I don't know if you can see that, there's a bunch of pools with like turtles in them. Yeah, and those That's are like the healthy cool. ones. Yeah, they're teaching us about sea life conservation. Yeah. Comparing what we saw at this hospital versus what me and Jordan went to in Texas was really cool seeing how they both work with turtles. I think this whole trip was like such a cool adventure. Oh, we really we love it. Love it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed watching me and my friends have new experiences. This was so much fun. Big thank you to LEGO for bringing me here to reconnect with the LEGO Heart Squad. And I know what you're thinking. Why is there a bar right here? Because my friend America, the turtle, is like chilling in the bottom. So um, I just thought that maybe I should do my outro with her, you know? Because uh, we're buddies now. Anyway, this is really important to me, ocean conservation and saving wildlife. Because I really am a big fan of the water and I grew up on the water and Obviously, you guys know me. I love swimming and surfing and being in the ocean in general. So this is really near and dear to my heart. And I hope you guys got inspired to go out and try new things, spread your creative wings. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.